<laughs> yeah, boy. I got no funny We're intro back. this time. Let's just go. Yeah, yeah boy's funny enough. What are you talking about? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna go back up to the engine room. Oh, his library is in here. Yes. I think there's like, they have like a bunch of these like te little teleporters for like the upper areas, so... Trying to make it more convenient. Okay, so what are we going to be doing this time? Uh, because we have... Oh, right, we have Bonefin bon coming. Yeah. Should we, do, should we do Bonefin? I guess so. Yeah, I might as well get this out of the way. So this, this is basically um, what one of the early, earlier Hungry Loomis the stages were like preparing you for with the like aiming the shells for the eels because yeah we're gonna have an underwater boss i don't know i don't remember if the series has done an underwater boss before or at least um 3d games but that thing comes to mind <laughs> oh the eel boss in sunshine oh yeah right I guess so. Oh no. <laughs> I think this guy has like five hit points. Oh no. Yeah, it's basically just a big version of like the skeleton. A bone. It, it's a big bone thing. Yeah, basically. Er I think one of us mentioned this as well, but um, the the uh, mega leg is basically a massive like sniffer as well. It's kind of interesting when yeah. when a like a boss is based on a regular enemy that's not even in the game, because there's also a boss in Odyssey that's based on a enemy type from sixty four, but it's, that's not even in like Odyssey itself. So it's kind of interesting. I love. Are the black, I guess. I guess the minion fish are they like robots? They look like it. <laughs> so is this guy a robot too? Maybe. Oh, great. Good. Yeah, I. I don't know if we've like t talked much about like the bosses in general, but I think they, as a whole, they are like a massive step up from the other games because like 64 itself had like barely any real bosses um sunshine reused like, a ton of them like all the time um but that got uh, count the gooper bloopers yeah there's like three gooper blooper fights you fight goopy piranha plants like five times you fight pt two times um the goopy piranha is just the equivalent to boom boom in that game yeah we are going to, we are going to drown yeah Actually, does drowning instant kill Mario? I think it slowly, like, makes your health go down, but... Okay, because I wasn't sure if it was an instant kill drown or what. Yeah. Yeah, this guy has quite a lot of health, but yeah. Um, but yeah, this is... This is def the two Galaxy games, I think, have the best boss fights in the series. Because they're very varied. Oh. Um, and... Oh, yeah, there we go. They're very varied, and there's a lot of them. So... Like, by the time you get to the end game where they do re repeat bosses, um, at that point you've already fought, like, tons of them, so it's not as bad as, like, 64 or Sunshine was. Mm. I don't know, how did you guys feel? Blah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> huh. Bo bosses. I don't, I don't know, I kind of blanked that because there were background stuff happening, sorry. <laughs> okay. Bosses oh, I know it's... You finish. Bosses in most Mario games just kind of feel like formalities. <laughs> yeah. Big ass dragon and Odyssey, three hits. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I think, yeah, I think Odyssey has some pretty decent boss fights. I mean, it has a good Bowser fight. Yeah. That's for sure. Um... Wait, Bowser's an Odyssey? 
Okay, uh... Uh, I'd say Toy Time. Yeah, I was gonna say, because this is one of my least favorite uh, galaxies, and this is one of my favorites, so... Do you want to get... Graffy, you pick. Uh... Let's see. Where's the Lost Galaxy? <laughs> you know what? Flip a coin. <laughs> I got... I'm on um, it. Sorry, uh, Mario coins don't have any different sides. <laughs> fine, uh, fine. I'll flip my coin. I'll flip. I'll flip. I'll flip a, I'll flip a uh, special coin. <laughs> All right, heads or heads. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, heads. Is, heads is what? Uh, toy time, I guess. All right, and I dropped the quarter. Good. Why do I keep doing that? There we go. We're going to toy time. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... Seaside isn't, like, one of my least favorite because it's, like, difficult or anything. It's just kind it's of... big. It's kind of just one of the most uninteresting <laughs> levels, honestly. But we'll get to that. Heavy Metal Mecha Bowser. Yeah, uh, yeah. usually, like, usually bosses are just formality in these games, but some, some Mario games have pretty good boss fights. Um... For, for what it's worth, this. I think I think the Koopalings in Mario U have decent fights. <laughs> I love this remix. Yeah. I like how this galaxy is basically just one big bedroom. Yeah, basically. This is, I, think, I think this is a Smash Brothers bedroom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, pretty much. Should we just have, should we just have Master Hand floating around? Oh, that will be funny. Yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite uh, levels because it's just... This isn't even space, it's just a toy room. Yeah, I mean, this is this is not something you really see often, so it's a nice, just, aesthetic. Um, variety, I don't know. You don't really see stuff like this. And I guess that goes into what we were talking about in an earlier part where um, like, just talking about tropes that you don't often see, and, yeah, this is definitely, this is definitely be up there as, like, one of my favorites in that regard. Man, what happened to that Mega Koopa? Yeah, they go, like, they're, like, huge in this game. But yeah, um, did you guys watch that Miyamoto thing? I was busy... Um, I watched. I watched most of it. Uh, mm. l last few minutes, uh, I just I didn't have the time. Yeah. Well, the my you probably got the gist of it then because I I wanted to like see, have you guys see that because there's the whole thing going around for like several years about how uh, Miyamoto like hates storytelling and all these like accusations that have been put on him over the years that just aren't true um and i thought that video was interesting because it does shed a lot of light onto that stuff and i do think it is important to kind of make that stuff known i guess um because i don't i don't really know where that started from like the whole miyamoto is super against stories and um all this other stuff but it, probably, yeah. probably because of a combination of Galaxy 2, pardon me, probably because of a combination of Galaxy 2's, um, oh cool, the power of everyone but me hates. Yeah, uh, yeah, the spring, yeah, spring Mario, awkward, <laughs> not much else to say about that, it's just, it's not great. Uh, hmm. what was I gonna say? So yeah, probably a combination of a Galaxy 2's reduced story focus, and you know, not that Galaxy 1 had much of it outside of the storybook, but... It had more, it had more than what a regular Mario game usually has, but... Oh, jeez. Ah! That's not really saying much. <laughs> it was just more cinematic in its approach. <laughs> yeah. And I guess, and I guess people, I, guess, I think people were probably just more on the idea of like, oh, like, this is just... But I think, cause like, I think me, I think, and I think they were just kind of taking the whole, like, me, what that one thing that Miyamoto did say, like, a little too, blown a little too far. Uh, what, the whole, like, 
Um, the Mar like, in essentially, uh, uh, in a, in a very simplified way, it, it, people took, kind of took it as Mario doesn't need story. Yeah, I mean, I think, doesn't. Yeah, that that's the the thing. Yeah, that's the thing. Like people take that way out of context. He's not necessarily saying it, it can't have a story. He, it's just it doesn't necessarily need one, and that's true. And, like Mario games don't usually need that. Um, Whoa! Yeah, yeah I like this. Just I like this because you have to make sure you don't bre you don't break uh, break too many of those blocks because every one of those turns into a star bit. So. They really do just chain tech. Excuse me. They really do. Just... <laughs> so yeah, my yeah, yeah. my thoughts. Yeah. Uh, they really do just treat the star bits like coins in this game. Yeah. Also, I can't show this off because I'm Spring Mario. But if you do look down there where my cursor is, you do see like a little train set, which is kind of cute. <laughs> if you so, get hit, you can probably show it off. If I don't like fall off like an idiot. Right, fine, so, I'll do yeah, that. I'd imagine combination of uh, Galaxy 2's reduced story focus and the people possibly unfairly blaming him for Sticker Star's reduced story focus, yeah. making people assume that Miyamoto even hates- though that was, uh, Even though that was like IS, I think it was, or Tanabe, I think it was. Yeah, okay, so I want to cover both of those, I, but, well, for, before that. The first train. Train! Yeah, I, I like little details like that, that's, that's adorable. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the thing with, um... Galaxy 2 specifically is that, um, like, for whatever reason, people have the impression that Miyamoto hates the Rosalina backstory, and that just simply isn't the case. What happened is just that, as we've, like, said during those story time sec sec uh, segments, is the fact that, um, uh, what was his name again? <laughs> Tanabe? No. No, no. No. Um, who wrote the story? Kazumi. Kaz Kazumi, yeah. The Kazumi, yeah, right. yeah. The thing is, like, he didn't, like, he did that all on his own. He didn't, like, tell anyone about it. But the thing is, like, Miyamoto would still had, would still have to approve it. Um, and, like, those, as far as I'm aware, those, ty those two guys are, like, best buds. Um, and when it came to Galaxy 2, early on, they both agreed that, like, the game doesn't really need a super like in-depth story or like a backstory thing like this game did so early on they decided yeah let's just make this a simple like mario platformer and make the story stuff like very simple and basic even more so than like what this game did because i think when when you're doing the same premise you can't really i feel like you can't really do the whole super big presentation with the intro again without it feeling like a rehash so i think they did honestly make the right call in just making it a simple um a, a much more simple presentation and just get on with the actual game part of it because yeah it it make I, I think it makes sense and it has it has nothing to do with like miyamoto saying no you can't add all this stuff in like they apparently decided on that really early on so yeah i don't know i don't know why that's a big thing like apparently i've heard that from some people that there might have been backstory for lubber but i don't know how true that is mm. that would have been interesting admittedly but i don't think that is ne entirely necessary because i see lubber as more just a fun like companion character like not every not every character really needs like a super like detailed backstory, especially for a Mario game. Like that's not really what people come to this series for. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think people forget that Miyamoto works on Zelda too, and yeah. those games are decently story heavy. Yeah, that's a, yeah that's a, the other thing as well. Like Miyamoto sees Mario as like the simple like save the princess kind of story, and sometimes it has a bit more to it. And Zelda is like the series where an actual like plot is made for, which I think I think that makes sense. But obviously, maybe we're spoiled. Yeah. Maybe it, maybe people are just spoiled. I don't know. I mean, that's the very that's a very very simplified take on it. Yeah. Also, uh, just to just to quickly talk about this, uh, I do like this little Mecha Bowser thing. Like, it's less like an actual 
boss like Sunshine was a more a platforming challenge. I don't know if I like it as much as the Sunshine fight because I just really like the roller coaster and train the rockets, but more bosses this... need to involve roller coasters. Yeah, but like as a platforming challenge, this is pretty cool. But yeah, um, and everyone died. The end. <laughs> I was gonna say that too. I always get. Like, just looking at these guys just on this conveyor belt, just... <laughs> they're just like... They're the just fuck? gonna like, fall off eventually. <laughs> Excuse me. I like how they're all like... Um... Burnt and everything. Yeah, cause they were caught in the middle of an explosion. <laughs> yeah. Marrow don't care. EXPLOSION! <laughs> yes. But yeah, going on about uh, the whole thing, like, the other thing about Sticker Star specifically is, um, people completely- That was I Yeah, people completely mis- like, misunderstand what happened. Um, I think- I think what happened is that Miyamoto played a demo build of- of the game or whatever, and said it was, like, and said it was boring or something, and- and suggested, like, Maybe you should, you guys should try using more of the established, like, Mario characters or something like that. And for some reason they, uh, w when they heard that they were like, yeah, let's just use nothing but Toads. <laughs> and people would, like, blame Miyamoto for that, but he never said, just use Toads. Um, and he never said, like, don't use a story or anything like that. But that was all intelligent systems. And like the whole. Yes, I love you, but goddamn. Yeah, it's and the whole thing of like them not really using uh, like new characters anymore, like characters that are made specifically for Paper Mario as well. That that is like just a an arbitrary limit they put on themselves for some reason, and I don't really get why. I, and, I believe Tanabe explained that they came from Nin that the order came from Nintendo to to no well, actually I think there's a difference between who God darn it there's a difference between uh, for, it's like, for Sticker Star specifically it seems like they just decided to use they just established characters but no one's ever been clear on how established they had to be like. Mm. Well, Ouija's technically established, but they don't use him. Yeah, that's the thing as well. Like, if they he wanted... appears. Yeah, that's the thing though. Like, if they if they're allowed to just use established characters, then there's still like so much to choose from it. Like, just from that, and it's just it's just so weird that they limit themselves so often. I mean, I mean, yeah, the Paper Mario series, like getting them to use Luigi feels like pulling teeth sometimes. So I yeah. I get the feeling they just prefer having a minimalist cast of, like, the established group, which is probably why there's so many OCs. I guess so. I mean, that's fine. I just would... I think the main thing is just that the they really shouldn't be as picky with, like, the, like, random NPCs or whatever. Like, I think they, they're starting to get a bit better with it, but, um, it's, yeah. There's just a lot of, like, characters they could have used. And the main thing that gets to me is the fact that Really, like, most of the mainline Mario games do introduce new species. Like, Odyssey especially introduces, like, tons. So, like, there's yeah, definitely... Yeah, humans in. <laughs> so, like, just the fact that they don't bother, like, going into that stuff anymore is just sad. Also, I like how if you're doing Luigi, this is Luigi meets Mario. Yeah. And when you do the purple comet, this will be even more interesting. Mm, that'll be interesting. <laughs> yeah, interesting is a word to use. Yeah. It's like Luigi's so. purple coins. <laughs> yeah. It's one of the most inf infamous levels in this game. What was I gonna say? Like, one of the hardest ones because you gotta commit to a path. And... Yeah. Yeah, I think Intelligent Systems just has a preferred way of how they handle like, like the cast of their games, and you know, that's mm. fair. I wish they would like use. I wish they'd use Rosalina in their games, like, let her be funny. Yeah. Just use, yeah, use Rosalina, bring in, bring in Daisy and, like, Anna Pauline or something if you really wanted to. 
like that whole must use established Mario characters. I'm not even sure if it's a rule or just a suggestion at I think the time, it was, but... It might, yeah, I don't know if... I think it was more of a suggestion. Than... Like, technically, everyone who was introduced in the first three Paper Mario games is an established character. Yeah. So. If, yeah. So I want to I see mean, the Piantas. That's loophole you can abuse. Yeah. So they... Why like... are we in a... Also, why are we in a cooking thing in a toy galaxy? Yeah, this is... Yeah, uh, this it's, is a, in... it's a shrinky dinks oven. Like the... <laughs> yeah, this sure. is an interesting star because the yeah toy time for this basically just turns into a, a food level, <laughs> and it makes me really wouldn't hungry. Be, <laughs> wouldn't be surprised if there were there was plans for a food theme galaxy. I mean, and and, and there is crap. I mean there is one and there is one. It's the first um, Luma, uh, the first Starbit Luma. <laughs> I guess so. I guess a general candy level. I guess I don't know. Yeah, but the. the First star bit level is um, also like a really short stage, so. Is a one up on that spoon? I think so. If I can get it without killing myself. Oh gosh. <laughs> nope. Yeah. <laughs> wait, you're gonna just, wait, man. Wait, he's there was no black hole. You just gotta bounce up and come back up. You would've been fine. <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> and thus, nothing of value was lost. Or gained. <laughs> yeah. Do, 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 do. This is definitely a very good remix, though. Like I said, Aliyah! Um, I, I think like the black hole that didn't get you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're like just falling down. You can bounce back up. Mario will be fine. Oh, he's gonna land on his head. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the thing, the mushroom power, I mean, the power wears off as soon as you, as soon as you hit the, the death plane. Yeah, but I, I still think I, I'd say uh, the Mario Sunshine Acapella is my favorite version of the Mario 1 ground theme, but this is probably a close second. Sunshine is just a kind of... It's difficulty says otherwise, but something about Sunshine is just very comforting. Mm. Oh god. Uh, yeah. Harry. Yeah, I. Yeah, I, I. I do like Sunshine's soundtrack. It's definitely not my favorite, but it does have some really good standouts. Like, I think Pinna Park and Noki Bay are my favorites. Like, Pinna Park because it's like the feeling. I like the feeling of like a mo being in an amuse amusement park and whatnot. And Noki Bay because it's just really relaxing. Oh. Mm, I think get up here. I think get up here. Yeah, that's things, huh? Gotta love that we just replace with the ice beams. Yeah. Look at that little tiny black hole. <laughs> oh boy, it's so oh, small. It's still going to kill me. Yeah. Oh, so this will make your life so much easier. Let me just. Yeah, you you don't have to jump. You can just do this. That Wait. makes. That makes your life so much easier. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we'll end up like dying like this, but if you die from getting electrocuted, Mario just kind of stays as a skeleton and it's kind of creepy, honestly. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I think they- I didn't need that imagery. For the hell of it, do you want me to show it off? <laughs> no. You're a let's play. Okay, fine. I'll. Yeah, because I don't know if I'm ever gonna have this happen naturally. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's messed up. <laughs> oh, so that's where that costume in, in, in Odyssey came comes yeah, from. Yeah, th that's yeah, that's where the Odyssey costume comes from. It, it's uh, it comes from this game. It wasn't made up for Odyssey. Can you wanna get that? Reminds me of like one of the last outfits you get for Crash in um, CTTR is is that? <laughs> yeah, it's funny though that 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 death always used to freak me out as a kid. So whenever, especially when I did like um, the Dead Ever comments where like electricity stuff was involved, I like I was like super paranoid. <laughs> Stella Mario. 
Yes. Spooky, scary, deadly Sims. I am the one of them now. Yeah. <laughs> that could have mitigated the nightmare fuel by like, just keeping the mustache on the skeleton, like in the Odyssey costume. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, Luigi is faster than Mario in this game, so I, I think when you like do the music note stuff, it d does it like twice as fast, which is pretty funny. <laughs> is there- they're very like, um, off and on with whether or not Mario or Luigi is faster, because I think- I think Mario is faster in 64DS, but I'm not sure. So I think- they're very like- All I know is that he has a yeah. floatier jump. Yeah, they're very like... And he can run on water for a moment. Yeah, which is... I don't think it's really used for anything, but it's cool. I was gonna say, blow out the candles. Yes. Yeah, this kind of... This Man, feels... you, I think you have to. Yeah, this is a very like Mario 64 puzzle kind of thing. Cause that game... Seriously, what happened to our Mega Koopas? Yeah. Yeah, they have um... They look like the bad kind of derpy. Yeah. It's interesting how 64 had a bunch of, like, puzzle elements in it. You can kind of tell that 64 and Ocarina of Time were made around the same time. I can also tell you're getting used to this pointer. <laughs> well, I'd hope so. I'm, like... <laughs> in the, like... They're getting close to the end of the, of the game. Okay, this is, like, blue... Excuse me, what is this guy called? An underground gunner or something? Like Something like that. Like, they they use this guy more than I remember. Like, how come he's not playable in any Mario Karts? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, um, just minor thing about the bringing back the beta or whatever. Um, the the platform for this guy in, in the beta was, like, more mechanical instead of, like, this cake thing. But besides that, it's basically the same fight. And he's done. Nothing to really write home oh. about. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, hey, there's one above oh, there. Yeah. yeah one it, day we're just gonna have a... I don't know if we can reach it now, though. Yeah, you need the mole to uh, get enough height. Boop, 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 boop. 